In this video, I'm going to derive the solution for a critically damped harmonic oscillator. This matches question 3.9 in classical mechanics with MATLAB applications. A damped harmonic oscillator has this differential equation, which can be written like this by a handy trick that your book points out is uh, succinctly covered in Boaz 2006. Uh, Boaz wrote a book called Mathematical Methods for the Physical Sciences. It is on my bookshelf. Um, I actually took a class using it in undergrad, sold that book, and bought that book back at the start of grad school because Boaz Mathematical Methods is so incredibly helpful. Uh, it, it does a great job of quickly um, explaining a math concept and showing you how to use it, and it does it for a wide range of math concepts. You might need to clarify a couple variables here. So really all we've done, if you look at the definition of these variables here, uh, take a second and convince yourself that it's the same equation that I started out with, that this equation here does in fact become this equation with these substitutions. Notice all we've really done is gone from uh, Newton's notation of derivatives with dots to Leibniz's notation using uh, d by dt. Again, take a second and convince yourself that this is right and I'm going to switch to a new page for the next part of writing. Really just trying to get this equation in a compact form. So what we do is we define the variable u to be the derivative operator minus a constant times x. So that would mean you do a derivative of x then have minus x times a constant. And so that original equation, if you need to rewind the video to look at it, that might be handy. But that original equation looks like this. And so we're just making a compact way of writing the derivative. And then if you're familiar with solving ordinary differential equations, uh, this has the form of an exponential. So u equals oops, u not something based on initial conditions. And then it'll be an exponential of something, and I'll just, I think I'm trying to go for the ADA symbol here. I'm sure I succeeded. But anyway, we have um, an exponential of, of something, and based on our original variables, let me check my notes real fast because this is right. Yeah, based on our original variables, that, that ADA is omega times t. So this is the form of our solution and we can actually substitute back in and make sure this works out. So let's do that. So remember we got to this form uh, before and now we're going to take our solution for u uh, I'm sorry that should be u and substitute, into the, substitute that into the equation so now it looks like dx dt minus gamma x equals you know, ah, I keep writing mu's u not e to the gamma t Okay, this derivative has a, a special form. So this is the, the form of the, the differential I've written down. And a differential of that form, you can actually go look up. It has a, a known solution form. I'm going to switch the page to write that down. So this is the general form of solutions to that equation. And so we have to make a couple... Uh, we have to notice a couple things. So in this case y is x, v is t from our earlier equation, uh, qv in this equation is mu naught, not mu, goodness, u naught e to the gamma t, and p of v is gamma. So from that, 
we actually have the solution that we wanted all along. Remember, we were doing the critically damped harmonic oscillator solution. You notice all I've done is make substitutions from the equation up here to get down to here. You want to pause and convince yourself that I didn't do anything tricky, but that is the solution for the critically damped harmonic oscillator.